Hey guys, I'm back with episode 2 of my wig guide for beginners. This time I'm talking about lace front wigs and I'm showing you my favorite methods to make them look more natural. This tutorial is sponsored by the wig brand Donor Love Hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this package I got from them before we get started. If you are interested in a new lace front wig or clip-in extensions, check out their webshop, you get a $8 discount with my code Jack. My order arrived after 4 days in this little box. It contains a netted wig cap. Because I ordered a blonde wig, my cap is a nude one. They also sent you a style card with a short info about your wig and a little pink wig brush. The wig I ordered is a 24 inch long synthetic lace front wig with the color Strawberry Blonde. So let's take a closer look on my wig. The wig is made of heat resistant fibers and has a heavy hair density. You can adjust the cap size with these little stripes at the back of the wig. The wig is also provided with combs, one at the back and two at each side to secure the wig on top of your head. The lace is light brown and about 4.5 cm long with hand tied fibers. Before we get started with the actual tutorial, I would like to show you the wig right out of the box. If you are looking for a wig you can wear in your everyday life, you should think about a human hair wig, which you can also buy at Donna Love Hair's webshop. I'm a cosplayer, so I just use my wigs for photoshoots and conventions. The synthetic one is a lot more affordable and for me they are totally fine. If you are interested in this wig, you can find the link in the description box below. So let's get started with this tutorial. First of all, I want to brush out the curls to get a more natural look. Especially pre-curled wigs are quite stiff sometimes. I'm gonna put my wig on a wig head and secure it with long needle pins. You should always use at least 6 needles to secure your wig properly. Otherwise you might damage the lace because the tension is not distributed on several points. I'm using my brand new wig brush from Donna Love Hair for this step. It's important to start at the bottom of your wig and work your way up. So brush at the ends of your hair fibers first. If you start at the top of your wig and brush down, you can damage the fibers. Especially curled and wavy wigs will turn into a knotted and tangled mess if you comb them the wrong way. If you want to smooth the curls even more, you can use a hair dryer or a flat iron. The wig I'm using today is a heat resistant one. If you are not sure about your wig, you should always do a heat test at the neck area of your wig first. Some wigs are not heat resistant, so the fibers melt as soon as you style them. Time for trick number two. All synthetic fibers have a shiny surface. You can add some baby powder or dry shampoo to make the wig look more natural. I like to use a small amount of loose powder and spread it with my fingers. If you use too much powder, your wig may look a bit grey. You can brush it out with your wig comb or a brush if necessary. Some people also like to use transparent makeup powder, which is great for dark wigs. You can spread it with a big brush or a powder puff. Another method to make your wig look more natural is to customize the hairline with tweezers. Many wigs have a really skinny part. You can widen it for a more natural look. This one is actually fine, so I'm not changing it. You should always take a look at your natural hairline before you change your lace rod. You can also thin out the hairline by plugging out some of the hairs. Make sure your wig is secured with enough needles before you start. You should always do the step before you cut off the extra lace. I'm using my regular tweezers, which I also use to set out my natural eyebrows. So let's take a closer look at my natural hairline. As you can see, I have a lot of baby hairs at the front of my hairline. Some people like to add those little hairs to their wigs to get a realistic hairline. I like to do some above my ears and some at the temple area. All you need is a sharp pair of hair scissors or a razor blade. Take a small hair section and cut them as short as you like them. It's important to move the scissors up and down while you are cutting the fibers, otherwise you will receive a hard transition which doesn't look natural. Now you can cut off the extra lace and secure your wig with lace glue or tape. I'm wearing a meshed wig cap to hold my hair up before putting a stocking cap on top to cover my dark hair even more. You should pick a stocking cap that matches your skin tone as close as possible because it's going to be acting as your scalp underneath the lace. If you never wear a wig before, check out my how to wear a wig video for some general infos. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and you picked up some new tips. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next episode of this series. If you have any other wig related questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below.
I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.